ready for summer week around here. And today we're gonna learn some new and refreshing ways to enjoy some fun in the sun with the family. Please welcome back Editor-in-Chief of Women's, Women's Day Magazine, Megan Murphy. Hey, Hi. Megan. Hi. 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 Welcome, welcome back. Hi. I love this dress, by the way. Thank you, I've got suns on it because we're about to have some fun in the sun. I what love this. Here? So this is glow-in-the-dark DIY bowling. So when okay. I have a Sunday fun day, there winds up being water bottles all over the yard. Yes. I make the kids Always. gather the recycling, and then we crack open a glow stick. Mm -hmm. You just need 10 water bottles. We use lacrosse balls because my boys yeah. are lacrosse bros. Um, yeah. And you just go bowling in the dark. These glow, Guys, and it's super fun. Glow in the dark Yay! glow sticks are still the most fun you can have. OK. Right? This is also a heck of a lot of fun. These are marshmallow blasters. So you take a cup. <laughs> Okay. You cut out the bottom. My kids debate which shoots faster. Okay. You take a balloon. If you guys want to do it, you tie it in a knot. Okay. So just like I'm so. I'm going to use the prefab one. The prefab one? Yeah. So you fill it with marshmallows. You fill it with marshmallows. Okay, so what you do is you just tie the balloon. Uh, and many? then you cut off just the tip of the balloon. Just the tip. Just the tip. And then you wrap it around the mouth of the cup. And then that's your blaster. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Just do one. I wound up shooting my kids that and I. That's really with these. disappointing, Megan. Ah. All right, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna try to get Gelman. Oh, that's fun. There yeah. you go. You gotta give it a little, Mark. Megan, are you try? sure your kids it. play with this at home? We sh I shoot them on the trampoline. You gotta pull back, our You know, I'm right. gonna stick right. with. I'm gonna right. say right. with the glow stick. stick. Yeah. yeah. There okay. go. What's over here? Okay, so this is a sensory bin. This is a lot of fun for little kids. Okay. You get to play scientist, so you're gonna mix some baking soda. You got baking a cup soda. of baking soda. Okay. Should I put it in here? You can put it in there. Okay. And then you're gonna take a tablespoon of cornstarch. Okay. okay. And I already put a little water in there. If you need a little more, you're gonna mix it up till it's the consistency of toothpaste. Okay. Right? Don't brush your teeth with it, but the consistency of toothpaste. Okay. And then we're gonna use a little turmeric for food coloring. Okay. Um, I find that this doesn't stain my kids' hands as much, so I love this as an alternative to color the, the uh, substance. Okay. And then once you get that mixed in, you wanna do a little turmeric, like yeah. get in there. Um, then you put it in your sensory bin. So okay. I did the shape of a sun, and then okay. what we're gonna do, if you wanna try it, Mark, yeah. is you get your little squeegee, okay. which kids love to transfer liquids, okay. and watch this. So you're gonna squeeze it on there. The vinegar in this is gonna react with the, the baking oh. soda. So it's an acid in the base, and it makes a solar flare. So the kids can have endless fun with these. I love using a boot bin for the container yeah. because it's spill. shallow, and so they can play right in there, and there's a lid so that you could pick it up to do it um, you know, again and again. Okay. Right, so you're just mixing, mixing, I'll mixing. Mix, mix. I am. Um, we've Let's move got on. a couple more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait. But the vinegar wait. watch. Whoa. That's, That's the cool. fun for the kids, right? Yeah. yeah. It's like that. They love it. And then they can they put their that. hands in yeah. it and get a little messy, right? Mark finally I got that okay. to work. Just one marshmallow. Just one works marshmallow. Well. Okay. There you go. We've got more fun in the sun with Megan. When we come back, stick around. <laughs> hey, we're back with Megan Murphy, editor-in-chief of Women's Day magazine, and you're sharing some unique ways to have some fun in the summer. What are we doing here? This is amazing because is this a flame-free s'mores get set up? Yes, it is a what? DIY solar oven. My my 11-year-old son, this is the best project I've ever done, and I've done a lot of projects, friends. Yeah. Um, you take a pizza box. You cut out the lid, then you wrap it in tin foil. That uh -huh. becomes your reflector panel. You put a piece of black paper on the bottom to absorb, absorb the, the heat, sun. Yep. Right. And then you cover it in plastic wrap, really sealed. That kept my dog out of it. That kept the pollen out <laughs> yes. of it. Yes, okay. right. And uh -huh. then you place it, your s'more, in your oven. All right. And okay. I used a skewer to prop it open, but you don't even really need right. to. Then the sun reflects off of here. And the bakes. black absorbs the heat, and they, they How bake. How long does it take? It took like 20 minutes. We were making these all day on Sunday. My kids were feeding the entire neighborhood. Neighborhood s'mores, and it was a huge, huge yeah. hit. Yeah, that's incredible. It's really I love it. fun. That's a great way to use these yeah. little pizza boxes. Yeah. I mean, I ate three pizzas. In yes, the I understand. <laughs> I get it. How you sacrifice yeah, for I, us? I Thank all you. The pizza. <laughs> 
This is really fun too. These are sun prints. So you take your tray with a little piece of construction paper okay. and you read your loose change okay. and you create a design. So here are mm. some of the designs I made with what? the kids. Oh, beautiful. Wait, that's just from the sun so bleaching the sun out the... It. Oh, Watch wow. This. So ready, everybody? When you remove oh, wow. the change, wow. you have a sun print. That's amazing. Yeah, so, so I've been great. keeping these in the yard, and anytime kids come over, I'm like, make a picture. And then we leave it for 30 minutes, and there you go. That's incredible. That's right? cool. Okay, this is a sunny day snack. <laughs> Look at this. Ah! So you take a cracker, you cut the cheese. I know, I had to say cut the cheese, but you have to cut the cheese <laughs> yes. into a circle. I use this cookie cutter. Then you put a little bit of like pub cheese or something as your glue. Uh -huh. And then you use shredded carrots. The kids made these with me. Oh, these are put carrots. Put the cheese on top, yeah. and then some candy eyes, and a chocolate sprinkle makes the perfect mouth. I just discovered that. Um, and then you have a sunny day snack. Your kids Amazing. Are, your kids are patient. <laughs> Thank you, Megan. Make sure to pick up the latest issue of Women's Day Magazine next. We're going to open up that inbox. Thank you so much.